yeah. Let them know say I don't the place. Crouch here. This, 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 this has its own magic. C-R-O-J-A-J-E. Follow Crouch here. Facebook, IG. C-R-O-J-A-J-E. C-R-O. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey all my cool dolls, I got another tutorial for you guys. This is part two to the Ruffle Me Thonkini set, so stay tuned. So here we're going to start off with a chain of 20. For the Thonkini bottoms, you need a longer chain than you would have in the um, bra cup. Because you know you need more coverage for your lady parts. So after you chain 20, you're going to double crochet in that third chain from the hook. And then you're going to continue all the way down. It's basically the same pattern as the bra cup. It's just that we started off with a longer chain than normal. So here we are at the end of that row. I showed you guys how I attached my new color of yarn in the last video. So that's what I'm doing here. Attaching my new color. Chain two, turn, and double crochet all the way down. Just another reminder, in that top chain two space, you're going to add two double crochets. Then you're going to chain two and add two double crochets into that same space. And continue double crocheting into each double crochet down the bottoms okay 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 here we are coming up on our last row i did a total of seven rows but i wanted to show you guys that in the last row in the top two, chain two space we're gonna put five double crochets into that space instead of two double crochet chain two two double crochet because this is going to be the anchor for our crotch that we're going to add on to the bottoms so five double crochets into that top chain two space and just continue all the way down so we're coming up on the end of that row I can't stress this enough. Don't forget to put a double crochet into that last chain two space. When I first started crocheting, I used to miss that space and my bra cups used to be lopsided AF. Okay, so here I'm just showing you how it looks up against my mannequin and trying to figure out where I need my crotch to be. I'm just, you know, laying it out onto the mannequin so you guys can see how it would lay out. So now that we have the amount of rows that we need, we're going to finish off and then we're going to add the crotch part of our thonkini. So I'm just finishing off here and I'm going to attach my yarn to the tip of the cup. So the reason that I put five stitches into that last chain two space is because I'm going to make the crotch with a total of seven stitches so that means you'll have the five in the middle and then the two at the ends like you know the two at the end so i'm gonna add a stitch marker to you know just hold the place and i'm gonna attach so that it's seven stitches across in total for the crotch So here I'm just attaching my yarn to begin adding the stitches for the crotch. Pull the yarn through. Then we're just going to tie a knot. And then we're going to insert our hook. And chain two. Chain two counts as a double crochet. And then double crochet into the next stitch. 
and continue down till you have a total of seven double crochet. Seven is for my size. If you're wider, you might need more stitches. But, you know, this fits a small medium. So you're going to double crochet till you have seven stitches across. I'm going to take out my stitch marker. That will be the seventh stitch. Double crochet into that space. Then you're going to chain two, turn your work, and continue. so here we're going to chain two turn our work and repeat that same pattern double crochet into the next stitch and all the way down we're going to do this for a total of seven rows and then i'll come back once the seven rows are finished here we are at the end of those seven rows i'm here measuring i usually do my crotch about three inches so i was just measuring to make sure and now we're gonna start our decrease row so to decrease you know you chain two turn and then we're gonna double crochet the next two stitches together once you reach the end of the row, you're going to double crochet the last two stitches together. But make sure you have one stitch left so you can put a, a double crochet into the last stitch. So you really double crochet into the second and third stitch before the last stitch of the row. I hope that makes sense, guys. Here I'm just showing you the, the two double crochet together. Double crochet into the next stitch. And then decrease on the other side as well so whatever you do on one side you have to do on the other side right yeah So for the thong portion, once you have two stitches, you're going to chain two. Then you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Chain two, turn your work. Double crochet into that chain two space. Chain two, turn. It's the same thing until you have the amount of rows that you need. You know, this is the part that, you know, goes into the buttocks. So you have to have enough to cover that area. And then we're going to increase again to give you that, you know, triangle effect at the top of the funkini bottom so stay tuned until we reach to that point so i continued that pattern for a total of seven rows now it's time to increase you know increase you chain two place one double crochet into that same space and continue and you do the same thing on the opposite side in that last stitch you need two stitches to increase so we're just going to continue this for a total of seven rows. So I'll come back once I have those rows finished. And then we can add the border along the thonkinis. Alright, so we have our seven rows of increases. I'm just showing you guys how the bottom should look at this point. We're going to cut our yarn, finish off. And now it's time to add the border to the bottoms. So here I attach my yarn, tie a knot. Then I'm going to chain one, single crochet into the next stitch, and all the way down. Until you reach the crotch portion of the thonkini. Then I'll show you guys. Instead of putting one single crochet into each stitch, you know the crotch is made up of double crochet 
so here i am coming up on the crotch area we're gonna just single crochet right over that loose end by adding two single crochets into each double crochet space and continue that all the way down once you reach the top part of the thonkini you're going to chain one single crochet across once you reach the other corner chain one start with the two single crochets in each stitch and continue all the way down till you get back to the top of the bra cup okay guys so once you're finished with your border all along your thonkini this is how it should look now it's time to add our ruffles ruffle me thonkini ruffle me thonkini all right so here i'm just attaching my yarn with a knot insert my hook into that same space chain two then i'm going to add three double crochets into the next single crochet stitch and all the way down you add three double crochets into each single crochet stitch for the ruffle effect for the ruffle effect a for the ruffle effect a so here i am coming up on the end of the ruffles Put in my three double crochet into the stitch. Once you get to the last stitch, which will be the chain one space, you're just gonna put one double crochet into that space, okay? So here we are, we finished our ruffles. I sewed in those ends. This is how it should look. What's left to do now is to i'm just showing you guys how it looks what's left to do now is to make the chain to weave through the top of the bottoms if that makes sense you got to make a chain long enough to weave through so that i can go through it and be able to tie on the sides so you need to make two chains for the front and the back so for my chain i'm using a different hook my 4.0 millimeter hook and i'm just going to chain a chain of one 10 you can chain however many you however long you need yours to be i just decided to chain 110 so you know you need to make two chains so here i have my two chains i'm just going to add my anglets to the end i showed you guys how to add anglets in the previous video so go back to that if you need references but here we are i'm showing you guys how it looks weaved through the front it looks so cute and how it looks through the back mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hot girl summer if summer opens up and here is the finished set thank you so much for watching this video my crow dolls I love you guys so much. Stay tuned for the next video. Comment you guys suggestions for the next tutorial you would like to see. Please share, comment, and like this video. Thank you so much, you guys. I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Next video. Yeah, yeah. Stay tuned.